Hello guys, it's me Lunar, welcome back to another video. Today a small hotfix is being applied to console to fix some bugs introduced from the last update, I went over that, but also I'm talking about the next update because we have the release date already and I wanted to go over all the changes we could see in that update. We'll start with today's hotfix though. The Xbox and PlayStation 4 servers will be down later today for 2 hours at 10pm pacific time, that's around 6am tomorrow morning in the UK. Here are the two fixes being applied in that time. Fixed two issues causing crashes mid-match and when entering a match, and fixed a bug that could reset all equip attachment settings. It's not a huge update, but it is an important one, especially with those crashes causing a lot of problems for players. And that fix, like I said, is on both Xbox and PlayStation 4. Next, we're going to look to the July update. So the next update is scheduled for July 30th, and as always, since we are simply a direct port of PC, we know what to expect next in the game. For now, we have caught back up to PC. We did follow a few updates behind for a while, but we are getting to the changes from the most recent PC update on console. They are currently on update number 30, but from PC update 29, the only changes we are still to get are user interface improvements, more customization options for custom matches, improvements to the parachute and flare gun, but that's pretty much it, except for lots of bug fixes. That means on July 30th, we are still likely to see some new cool stuff. The BRDM2, for example, a new vehicle that drives in water. It can only be called in as a special care package using the flare gun. Its health is twice as much as the UAZ, while its gigantic wheels cannot be damaged. It's a powerful bulletproof vehicle that can reduce incoming damage from ammunition, grenades, and even red zone damage. The BRDM2 is an amphibious vehicle, so it can continue to drive on the ground after it's been driving on water, but the only catch is that players can't shoot while on board, so it's a defensive vehicle only. It can carry four players, so it is useful for getting around. Next, the Deagle or Desert Eagle. The Deagle deals the strongest pistol damage in game and will spawn in all maps. It does 62 damage per shot and takes both red dot and holographic sights, various magazines and laser sights, which will improve hipfire accuracy. With greater than average pistol damage and muzzle velocity, of course, comes a harder to control recoil. It has a single fire mode, it uses 45 ammo, and the standard magazine fits 7 rounds, which can be extended to 10 with an extended magazine. And I have to admit, I'm really looking forward to using that weapon. Ledge grabbing, allowing us to reach new places in game we couldn't otherwise reach. You need to activate it yourself by holding the jump button after you jump, or pressing it mid-air again, so it's not automatic, which adds a little bit of difficulty to that mechanic. Improved gas cans, including now the fact that they will explode when you shoot them. I do remember when I played PUBG on the first day, one of the first things I did was shoot the gas cans to see if they explode, and I was disappointed. But soon they will, and you can even set up a chain reaction of explosions when using them. Radio messages, basically it's a way to communicate with your team if you don't use a mic. So if you want to request healing, for example, you can now. Plus, there will be tons of bug fixes, user interface and user experience improvements, and more changes to weapon mastery, survival system, and more. The update is on track for July 30th, and the changes are going to include at least some of the stuff I mentioned. I remember from previous updates though, weapons especially were always one of the last things to be added to console. So if anything is going to be delayed for the next update, I guess it will be the Deagle, but it's just a guess. But the MP5K, the Bison, even the Flare Gun all arrive later than the rest of the content from the same update on PC. So if anything is to be delayed, I guess it is going to be the Deagle, unfortunately. But let's just hope everything does get added on July 30th. A hotfix is being applied today on PS4 and Xbox. The maintenance period is two hours, so look out for that later on. That is it for this video guys, there was probably won't be much more PUBG content until the update. I wish they would at least add something to the PTS each month to give us something else to go over. For now, the next video will probably be closer to July 30th. In the meantime, I'll still be covering Apex, and I will have some Gears of War 5 this month as well, so look out for that. Like and subscribe for the latest updates, have an awesome day, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.